Welcome back guys. Today's video is inspired by Atul Sharma. Um, he's asking, can you please publish a video that runs shell script on a minion through solid state SLS? So this is going to be a fairly uh, short video. I believe I've done this a few times on future videos, but hey, just in case I missed it, you know, cover my tracks. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my salt repository I've got here. I've got the base and I've got everything here in base. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new state. Uh, call it maybe, um, let's see what we'll call it. So new folder, we'll call this temporary exec, shell exec. All right, and give it a long and unambiguous name. And new file. This will be our init.sls, and there's two ways to actually execute a script. So if you just need to execute a single line, it's better to use command.run. So, and I'll show you an example of that just now. So let's say I want to echo my name. So I can say the state name would be echo name, and my Amazon Echo is going to go off now. Or maybe not. Okay, and it's cmd.run, that's the module we're calling it, and the name is going to be echo uh, and then that's it. This, I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Sorry, that was my echo going off. And this would essentially just run echo. Um, OLE. And then we just get that return and that's it. Nothing else would happen. Um, but there is another way. Let's say you have a full-fledged script, right? So you've got this, um, let's say you've got a templates folder. And in the templates folder you've got a file that says Let's say this is like a full on script, but we're gonna go ahead and just use another echo here. So, um, now with this script file, let's say you wanna execute this directly. You can do two things, and this is just a combination of two. So, you can do um, script file is equal to file.manage. And the name of it is going to be slash home slash mo.le slash um, script.sh. Uh, user is mo.le. And let's see what else can we do. Um, so mode is going to be 755 and group is mo.le, just hypothetically, and I think that's all we need. And then and then we can execute it with saying script run uh, cmd.run name slash home slash mo.le slash script.sh. And this would require uh, file script file. Technically, this is definitely possible, but this is a lot of writing just for two particular, uh, just for one particular thing, two states for one particular thing. So what you can do is you can combine the two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and null comment them out. So you can do um, script run and cmd.script, and then that would be, and you would have to pass in the source from here. Now to, look at the, to take a look at the documentation, um, let's see what the arguments are available for cmd.script. So here's the cmd module. We know about cmd run. And cmd.script can be found. Here, there we go. So, yep, yeah, so we provide the source. And the template, whether it's in Jinja format or not, 
doesn't really matter. Ours, is, we can say it's in Jinja format and the name and the, and the command to run so on. So that's what we'll do. Um, so the source is going to be, or sorry, this says that the, let me double check this. It says either commands args one, two, three, command is not used or source salt this. Okay, so you can either use the actual command or you can source the salt thing. But we're gonna go ahead and just use the source and we can we can use both actually. Let's use both. So we'll use this example here. So the name of the state can be or we'll say the name of the state is gonna be salt. In which case salt and we've got templates. So do we need to provide yes, I believe so. So temp shall exec template slash script dot sh and any other I don't really want to um, patch anything else so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is all right so that would run our script as well uh, I'm going to go ahead and com add and commit this So let's say uh, temporary sex. All right, so there we go, two files changed. Now we can go to our server. This is my salt master. All right, so let's say we've got uh, slash SRV salt, oops. RV slash salt states, and we can just do get pull here. Oh, I forgot to push, that's why. So now this script would run and it would just say echo and my name. So, and that's in one single state if I have this correct. So let's see. Result. Let's see what's responding so far. And then we'll go from there. So we've got maybe nothing's responding actually because it doesn't look like anything is responding. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and fix this up real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I just needed to restart the master. So let's go ahead and continue. Pseudo salt, let's see, let's use both of them. Uh, state.sls, and what do we call this? We call this state uh, temp shell exec, right? So temp shell exec. If it passes, it passes. If not, if not. Okay, so there we go. It passed on both of them. So it did in indeed work. So basically, it took the source of our local oops, our local um, script here. And then it essentially copied it over, like how we made up an example here. And then it ran it. And that's pretty much it. So, like I said, this was gonna be a short video. So I hope that um, that basically covers things up for you. Uh, if you want me to explain a few more things about it. Actually, I do have one thing in mind. I wanted to explain this. Uh, there's one thing that we didn't do is this template um, attribute or parameter rather. And basically you can use Jinja on it. If you don't know Jinja, look at my other video for uh, explanation of how Jinja works. So Jinja is basically a, a Python way of setting variables or functions even uh, onto templates and executing them, executing them on local machine or on remote machines. So if, you look, if you're looking at this particular doc, this is an example of Jinja right here. The setting of a variable is current path is equal to environment.get environment path and then adding user local bin into it. And then they're setting the environment path here as well and joining it. So basically 
you can use Python uh, like language, uh, Python Jinja like language on remote machines. That's the idea of it. Um, but yeah, I didn't really go th through too much into that. I do have a Jinja video on, uh, that explains that, so please do look into that when you have when you have the chance. But yeah, that's it. I'll uh, we'll see you guys later.